Could you please introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Cody Hulls. Uh, go by C.M. Hulls. And what do you do? I'm a, both a novelist and an artist, and I do... What I'm doing here today is doing art for uh, the patriot cause. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the patriotic making money cause. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's mostly it's about trying to inspire the next generation and also teach them the different types of uniforms and and also that all regiments are re are represented. You know, the the money can be a bonus, but. <laughs> But uh, it's it's there's not enough patriotism. How did you get involved in this project? Well, I started doing elaborate projects personally, and I had been a part of reenacting uh, as well as I wanted to make my own uniforms. I didn't make this one, but I on along my research, I was like, oh, there's not a lot of stuff out there. This was 20 times harder, at least more than anything else I've ever had to study. So I wanted to uh, put that knowledge to good use. And I thought while I was painting the cover of one of my books that I was like, it, it just clicked. I need something simple, something that could be used for a good cause and, and that it'd just be really wonderful and, and uh, inspiring to others. Well, how does the American Revolution inspire you? Well, out of, um, I'll try not to get emotional with that. Out of 7,000 years of recorded history, we have about three hundred, less than 300 years of equality and liberty. And the characters that were involved were just amazing for their time. And they, uh, you know, there wasn't anything like radicals. Anytime there is uh, chaos and, and discontent, usually radicals throughout history are the ones that take control. And uh, it ends up going a lot further than what people initially intended and starts to defeat the purpose of what revolutions were all about. Is that the American Revolution is one where moderates kept on taking control and saying this is what we need to do that's best for everybody not some ideology thing that we're going to test to the extreme and eliminate the human beings that stand in its way that but it's like no we actually have everybody has rights or else eventually you know we're none of us are going to have rights and there's always going to be even the ones at the top are going to be scrambling for power and Though every government is not perfect, this does release a, a sense of the closest thing to perfection that has yet been devised, and it's one of the most amazing things in human history. Following that thread, what do you want the upcoming young people of the United States to learn? There's so much, but uh, spar sparing for time is that... Knowing, I mean, a lot of people when they see reenactors, they think, oh, they these guys are just you know dressing up and and you know for whatever reason to uh, to I guess what they'd say cosplay just to have fun. I mean, this this is a thing to inspire the next generation to realize that hey these tools that we're using these uniforms these were these were for a reason and to actually be able to wear them actually puts a face to that you see mm -hmm. you see some of the shortcomings that that were done as well as as uh, what the decisions that were meant that actually inspired the whatever was among the resources at the time and therefore history is not a, necessarily a study of events, but the st but uh, a study of human nature, mm -hmm. and we we see that so much. And above all, I think that the thing I would really love to to for the next generation to learn, and you know, I'm not too far out of the next <laughs> generation, I know, but uh, is just how rare the opportunities that we that we have are, and to judge people throughout history with a fair assessment, mm -hmm. to uh, embrace the, the sinner, not the sin, it, with whatever is, for whatever you think is somebody's shortcomings of, of the time, because these men 
that we represent were so forward thinking in their time that that uh, many men throughout history you can't you can't draw very many men from history in general to to uh, that were so forward thinking of like let's individual rights let's try to make this easier for other people and and all and it would take some time to and to perfect and that fight will never end because human beings are not perfect mm -hmm. but it is a very very in, important lesson for everybody to know especially when they're studying history as a former teacher those are magnificent words that you are expressing um, in reenacting what character would you eventually like to portray and why i have a list of characters but benjamin talmage is because he was a cavalry officer i'm partially a horse trainer Lo love uh, being a part of the uh, the dragoons one day and they don't have it on this side of the country unfortunately but mm -hmm. but uh, he also wore the my favorite type of uniform he also was the head of intelligence, and I like to try to think of myself as an intelligent, and also got to hang around George Washington. Mm -hmm. And so you can't get much better than that. <laughs> How long have you been involved in reenacting? Or, or, and then I would also like to trace your thread as an artist. We haven't yeah. talked much about you as the artist, mm -hmm. but um, how long have you been involved now? I have been involved in reenactments for about a year now. Mm -hmm. I started out in Utah with the 1st Maryland Regiment and then uh, shifted down to Arizona uh, where I was a part of the 1st uh, Pennsylvania Light Company mm -hmm. and moved or tried to be a part of the, uh, the California area of those reenactments there and and uh this is actually my first year up in washington i am actually from this area mm -hmm. i just got in contact with with uh somebody and that it just branched out from there just a few months ago mm -hmm. so i'm i'm very glad to be here and well, to let's talk about your tell us about your art and how is how did you become an artist mm -hmm. uh did you have any formal training no, uh, when when I tell people my mom is an art teacher, they're like, "Oh yeah, that makes sense." But I actually never I never had a lesson from her because she's so busy with her own students. Mm -hmm. Is that she uh, walks by me all the time and is like, "I can't even do full body people. You do them so small, Cody." Yeah. <laughs> and, and all yeah, is that uh, I started uh, drawing. I guess when you know before I can even remember and. And uh, I started off painting here. Th this book of mine right here is uh, actually the... Show the camera. Is actually the... That's, a, that's technically my second painting, but that is my first, my first actual project that I went about doing that. And I did that out of acrylic, as I do all of these out of mm -hmm. acrylic. They look like watercolor because I wet down the brush so much. I'm mm -hmm. like trying to be so careful in those... In, with those uniforms and all. So how did you, so you, you have your book, how did you get involved with that particular topic? Oh, <laughs> oh man, that, that is, condensing that down is that basically I was uh, in school so, so long and uh, was waiting because I lived out of, out of district and waiting, didn't have a car, so I waited for a long time and, and I was like, I could, I could write a book, you know, and, <laughs> with all the time I'm I'm spending here and I'm like well might as well and mm -hmm. and so that's actually how I got started that book uh, took me about eight and a half years and mm -hmm. I got like scores more already in the works <laughs> as, as a little bit of an author myself I am amazed by that and uh, humbled to see here you are as a very young person getting started I I didn't work on it till I was uh, 62 years old and worked on a Lincoln book, so I really appreciate what you've done. Are there any last words you'd like for you, the audience? I'm always inspired by George Washington's words, is that the cause of America is the cause of mankind. Mm -hmm. And I am so proud to, you know, do my best to pick up that mantle that they, that those giants mm -hmm. left behind for us. And as an artist, I hope that uh, if these 
you know, if these historical figures were to come alive, that they would be proud and pleased you know, by what they see. Yeah, and that that I'm hoping that it will inspire other people. That it will not only be just an educational thing or mm-hmm. pa- passing. Oh, that's that's a nice thought, you know. But it's actually a way of life of inspi- inspiration, and hopefully that that will branch out into other parts of our lives, and that we may all do our best to help each other and do the pursuit of happiness right and uh do our own well way of of uh saying uh we pledge our lives our yeah. fortunes and our sacred honors right mm-hmm. well thank you that was lovely